Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here coming to you from beautiful Red Rocks, Colorado. And behind me is the 2015 Toyota Yaris. Now, we've actually reviewed a Toyota Yaris at Red Rocks, so we're not going to be doing that today. It's a totally different thing. We've got something very special that we're starting on our website, tflcar.com. And that is something called TFL Quick Picks. That's right, folks. TFL Quick Picks. Got that? What we're doing is we're trying to put together something consumer friendly for everybody out there who wants more details on car reviews. And part of that has to do with this man behind me. That's Daniel Buxbaum. Hi. Get back to work. If there's one thing I've learned through my years in the automotive industry, it's that everyone is capable of falling in love with what they drive. As the great automotive designer Freeman Thomas once said, a car is who you want to be and a house is who you are. So through exploring the coolest features and real world practicality built into every car we test, let's work together to awaken your inner car enthusiast and figure out what cars best reflect who you want to be. My name is Dan Buxbaum. Welcome to TFL Car Quick Picks. This is the face of a car that just three model years ago had the slogan, it's a car. Really? Can you believe that? These LED headlights along with every crease on this body, the dark finished wheels, the body color mirrors, everything makes this look just as a cohesive whole. There's nothing about this car that looks like an economy car anymore. To reinforce this point, Toyota designers have done some pretty cool stuff, like removing the reverse light from the standard tail lamp clusters, which I feel like is a pretty cool hat tip to the sportier Subaru BRZ and Scion FRS. Overall, this is a car that, especially in Blue Streak Metallic, just says, come on, push me a little harder, let's go play. On the inside, the way everything looks and feels now is exemplary. It's so solid and well put together, and it's a true reflection of Toyota's latest design language. For our Yaris SE, with an as-tested price just over 18.6, everything felt just as premium as it ought to be, if not even class-leading. In the powertrain department, Toyota has this tendency to stick with what works and nothing more, and the 2015 Yaris is no exception. It's stuck with the same 1.5 liter four cylinder engine with variable valve timing and a four speed automatic or five speed manual transmission. It's been the same powertrain essentially since 2007. But what really surprises you besides the fact that it doesn't have a whole lot of power is just how willing and agile the chassis is. It's a car that, like I said before, begs you to push harder and dive a little bit deeper into every corner, which even in standard trim levels is a pleasant surprise. Chalk it up to the fact that this car just feels light on its feet, an attribute no doubt due to its perfectly tuned electric power steering system, which also helps save on fuel. When it comes to hauling cargo, despite its size, the Yaris is actually surprisingly roomy. The five-door version, as we tested, has 15.6 cubic feet, even with the back seats up. And with them folded, it obviously provides even more. And when you think about it, 15 and a half cubic feet is pretty average, even for a large family sedan, which is pretty cool. The back seats also fold down by a pretty old school pull tab mechanism, but if it ain't broke, why fix it, right? Now I'm 6'4 with fairly long legs, and surprisingly enough, the back seat's actually pretty good, but up front, as you can see, my left leg has some trouble staying straight and flush with the floor. If I move my foot over, however, it makes it a little bit better, but it still really wouldn't be comfortable for more than short periods of time. And with three pedals down there for a manual transmission, forget about it. Overall, the interior of the 2015 Yaris is way better than expected. I just wish it had a little bit more room up front for tall drivers. A basic Yaris starts at just under 15,000 bucks, and our model, just over 18. Either way, 32 combined miles per gallon with an automatic isn't terrible, especially on regular fuel. And hey, look at that. You actually get a compact spare tire that's functional. It's actually a rarity nowadays. In addition, you really get some of the coolest sun visors in the industry. They're not illuminated, but the fact that you do have a mirror on the driver's side is definitely a plus. 
What's really interesting and unique, however, is the fact that it has an additional slide out sunshade to block that extra little bit of sun coming in either from the back or between the mirror and the rear view. Everybody say hello to Nathan. Curiously, even though the Yaris has a pretty killer infotainment system with a touchscreen standard, where's the rear view camera? I mean, navigation's a dealer installed option, but this is pretty standard on most cars nowadays. What's really neat though is Toyota has a thing for wiper blades, and this car, with its single pivoting arm design, is definitely a conversation starter. So the 2015 Yaris is usable and fun, but what about practical? Well, a pair of usable Grande Starbucks cups fit next to each other, just barely, up in front. And an iPhone 6 Plus kind of fits in the left side cup holder, but definitely nothing will fit to the right. The good news is though, the USB will easily reach. On the driver's side armrest, the pull handle is actually closed on the bottom, so it's another great space to store your phone if you don't need a place to rest your arm. But whoever designed this cubby next to the instrument cluster is an absolute genius. It's the perfect place to store anything and it won't slide around. Now if you have children, installing an average child seat in the back can prove a little bit difficult. Toyota likes to put their latch anchors buried deep underneath the seat cushion, which is kind of a pain in the rear, no pun intended. Once you get it in there though, it's fairly accessible. The problem is, the width of most standard car seats is just over the bottom cushion's bolstering, so the seat rests a little bit unevenly. If you're one that has children of the furry variety, however, rest assured, even with the seats up, a large dog bed will easily fit back in the cargo area. And will the Yaris Golf? Yes. Not only will it hold a full set of adult-sized clubs, it'll actually hold a junior set of clubs right behind it. With two different body styles and three trim levels, there's a Toyota Yaris for everybody. Just keep in mind what it is exactly you're looking for, and if it's a fun, engaging, spacious, and versatile economy car, I would say this is probably one of the best I've tested yet. This is Dan Buxbaum for the Fast Lane Car Quick Picks, signing off. Look forward to your comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone. You like the hand thing? That way it stays in your mind. People say I flap my arms a lot, so TFL quick picks. For the fast lane car, this is Nathan Adlin. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, and real world reviews. Hasta la vista.